My name's Evan Upton. Uh, I'm one of the founders of Raspberry Pi. We launched Raspberry Pi in uh, February of 2012, and since then we've sold about three million of them. And we've sold them into this incredible range of applications. So we've seen, as we'd intended, lots of children using the Raspberry Pi to get their first experience of uh, computing in the same way I did with my BBC Micro when I was a kid. Uh, we've seen a lot of adults using Raspberry Pi, adult hobbyists using Raspberry Pi in, in, a, in an enormous range of uh, projects from sending them up to the edge of space under balloons, to uh, home automation, to robotics, to car projects. But one of the interesting things is particularly over the last year, we've seen people starting to use the Raspberry Pi board um, as a subcomponent in what we call an industrial or an embedded application, using a Raspberry Pi as part of another product. We think embedded engineers are using the Raspberry Pi for a combination of its low cost, its high performance, and the fact that it has an incredibly stable board support package. Um, about the only downside for those engineers is the Raspberry Pi has a form factor which isn't really designed for embedding, right? It has the form factor of a small board computer, and that means that, uh, particularly if you're trying to make a physically compact product, uh, you have to find space inside it for a credit card sized piece of circuitry. And you also then need to build some sort of wiring loom to connect your circuitry to the various connectors that are around the edge of the Pi. Uh, so we started to ask ourselves, you know, is there, could we do a variant of the Pi? Could we do some sort of version of the Pi which is more, uh, which is more appropriate for, the, for, for embedding into other products? So what we came up with was this. And what this is, this is the Raspberry Pi compute module. Um, and this has all of the core circuitry of a Raspberry Pi, so the Broadcom 2835, um, half a gigabyte of, um, uh, of SDRAM, uh, um, and over on this side, something that isn't present on the Raspberry Pi, four gigabytes of eMMC uh, flash. Uh, and this is all of the, this is everything you need in order to run the Raspberry Pi firmware. Uh, you can see the form factor is, uh, is a JEDEC, this is a JEDEC SO DIM. Uh, and all of the signals from the 2835 are brought out to this edge connector, this 200-pin edge connector at the bottom. The intention is that, obviously you can't use this on its own, the intention is that uh, you design a baseboard and you plug uh, the uh, you plug the Raspberry you plug the Raspberry Pi compute module into your baseboard, and on the baseboard you have all of the circuitry that you need to uh, to make use of it. Um, to help get people started, uh, we've developed this. This is a fairly typical compute module baseboard. This is what we call the Raspberry Pi compute module I/O board. Uh, this has a socket for the. Uh, this is just a standard um, SO DIM socket uh, that you can buy from a lot of vendors. The idea is that you. Uh, click the uh, compute module into that socket and then there is circuitry on this uh, circuitry and tracking on this board that bring the various signals out to the edge so for example bring the HDMI connectors out the HDMI signals out to this connector uh, bring the USB signals out to this connector and bring the camera and display signals out to this what we're launching today is what we call the Compute Module Development Kit. And the Compute Module Development Kit consists of one Compute Module, one Compute Module I.O. board, and a couple of little adapter boards that convert between the ribbon cable format used on the Compute Module and the ribbon cable format that we've used on the Raspberry Pi for the camera and the display. Uh, all of those things together make up a Compute Module DK, and uh, that's going in the market today at uh, $230 and then availability, that will give people a chance to get started doing designs with the compute module. Volume availability of the compute module itself will follow um, in early autumn of this year.